that one. We'll see a modern spin on an ancient culture with the Center for Judaic Studies and find out how nonprofits are partnering to raise money in a unique way. And today, we're giving away passes, movie passes. Thanks, everybody, for staying with us. You know, a modern spin on an ancient culture spanning 5,000 years of Jewish tradition, storytelling, is traveling the country celebrating Judaic culture, only this time it's not your Bubby's storytelling. <laughs> Using 21st century performance art techniques, storytelling is exploring personal, contemporary meanings of old Jewish stories and traditions. Well, joining us today are David Schneer, director of the Center of the uh, Judaic Studies, and Amakai Lau Lavi, uh, the founder of Storytelling. Good Say job. it for me, Amakai. Amichai Lau Lavi. Lau Lavi. I got it. Got See, it. I told you, I studied Amakai. <laughs> All right. Well, let's start things off with you, David. Fill us in on the Denver's University Center for the Judaic Studies. Well, the Center for Judaic Studies is an academic department at DU, like history, philosophy, economics. But we've really become a lot more than that. In the past five years, we've become the leading center to bring the most cutting-edge, avant-garde forms of Jewish culture from around the world to our students at the university, mm -hmm. to our colleagues around the world, and to the people of Denver and Colorado. So it sounds like uh, the Center for Judaic Studies is playing a wonderful role in the culture of this Denver community. Expand on that a little bit. We like to think so. I mean, yeah. Denver is an incredibly rich, diverse place. Mm -hmm. And we think we need to be talking more about Denver's ethnic and religious diversity. Good for you. And Jews, I think, are really a key player in this question of um, ethnic and religious diversity. Mm -hmm. So we bring people from across the world. Actually, this year we have people coming from Germany, mm -hmm. Russia, Israel, and even from New York, dare I say. Um, in <laughs> fact, we're very proud that the University of Denver is the first university to host, as a visiting artist in residence, mm -hmm. the world-renowned theater performer and Bible interpreter, descendant of 39 generations so of rabbis, Amichai Lalavi. Wow. wow, unbelievable. Wow, we're so glad to have you on the show. You have a year-long series. You have some wonderful performances, wonderful artists coming. Yeah. Tell us more. So the series is called Shema, What mm -hmm. Jewish Culture Sounds Like. And this word Shema, it's the first word of the Jewish testament of faith. And it means listen or hear. So when Jews are thinking about God, they're actually listening and hearing. And in our project this year, we're trying to get the sounds of Jewish culture back and put them at the center of what we think about when we think about Jewish culture. So we've got poetry readings, theater performances, concerts, radical avant-garde language poems. It's, it's actually quite amazing, uh, the, uh, the breadth of what we're bringing, including projects that are going to challenge people to think in new and potentially challenging ways. Wonderful. Get them to think outside the box. Yeah. That's good That's for what we're us. trying for. Amikai, welcome to uh, Denver. And you founded Storytelling. And tell us when your imagination dreamed that up. Well, Bereshit bara Elohim et HaShamayim ve'et HaAretz. Do you understand that? No. Uh, no. Well, Try neither again. do 95% of American world Jews mm -hmm. who go to synagogue every week to be part of the longest running rerun of the Bible, the longest ritual of sacred storytelling in the world that happens every Saturday in synagogues where the Bible is chanted out loud in Hebrew. Nobody understands Hebrew. So I was sitting in a synagogue in New York 10 years ago. I just came there from Israel. And I was thinking, this is crazy. The yeah. story was told was Joseph. Yeah. Uh, it's a best-selling musical about dreams and hope. Mm -hmm. And I thought, the problem is not the text. The problem is the delivery. What if we take the Bible and give it an extreme makeover? There you go. And create theater out of scripture, translate it, adapt it to modern conversation, make it a political, social agenda. Mm -hmm. So that's how storytelling began 10 years ago. And wow. now it's a company theater, uh, educational concept. We've got 60 people on the road in churches, in synagogues, in theaters, making theater out of the Bible. Spreading the word, reaching out to others. And uh, as you said, outside the box, our motto is we're deep inside tradition and way outside the box. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> All right, look, tell me more about the monologue. What's going to be happening? I know this weekend, a little bit of a preview, because this weekend you have a very special event. Yes. Uh, the Last Temptation of Moses mm -hmm. is a show that uh, I created for the holiday that's happening this weekend called Simchat Torah, in which the five books of Moses are ending and beginning. Every year we start this rerun again. And so this is a show about Moses dying and his breath becoming the breath that goes into Adam and Eve. Cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, you want to see a bit? I do. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to stand up for this. Okay. okay. Do it. Good. Hmm, the old man is finally ready to die. He lies down. Archangel Michael 
puts his hands on his eyes and they close. Archangel Gabriel folds his hands. Archangel Zagzagael, who's summoned just for this occasion, gets his feet together and Moses breathes out. His lips meet the lips of God. Can it be said? And his breath goes into God. And he dies at 120, a restless prophet. Except Moses dies eight verses before the end of the Bible. So who wrote the last eight verses of the Bible, if it's not Moses. Some say Joshua, some say God dictated and Moses wrote the last eight verses with tears in. Some say, well, stay tuned for the show. Wow. Oh, very, very nice. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you. It Thank was you. a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure, pleasure meeting you. you too, Thank David. You. Thank you. Appreciate it. Wow. wow. The Last Temptation of Moses is this Saturday night, 8 o'clock at the Lab at Belmar. Tickets are just $15 and you can get them by calling 303-934-1777. If you want more information about Shema, 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 excuse me, Shema, what Jewish culture sounds like, and the different programs offered throughout the year, visit the Center for Judaic Studies website at www.du.edu/cjs.